Hello, you are watching Shalom World News. I'm Rory McLennan coming to you from Glasgow, Scotland. Here are the latest headlines from around the world. The plight of innocent civilians in Myanmar, as well as the role played by the church to champion democracy and human rights in the country, which has been in turmoil ever since the February the 1st military coup, has caught the attention of global Catholic organisations. Cygnus, a Catholic lay ecclesial movement for professionals in the communication media, has expressed solidarity with the Myanmarese who are peacefully resisting the military junta. In a joint statement issued with Pax Christi International and the International Focolare Movement, Cygnus has expressed grave concerns about the situation in the Asian country, criticising the false information campaign of the military. The statement calls for the protection of journalists and the release of Nobel Prize Peace Laureate Aung San Suu Kyi and other leaders. Against the backdrop of the shooting in Atlanta that left eight people dead, including six Asian women, the US Catholic Bishops Conference has come out with a statement slamming the prevailing culture of violence. Bishop Oscar Solis of Salt Lake City, the chair of the USCCB Subcommittee on Asian and Pacific Island Affairs, urged solidarity with the vulnerable. The attack took place on March the 16th when a gunman killed eight people and injured one in a shooting spree at three spas in the area. He said the bishops, quote, decry any kind of hatred and violence, particularly based on race, ethnicity or sex. The bishop also offered prayers and solidarity for the victims. A court in India has rejected the bail application of an 83-year-old Jesuit priest who has been in prison since October last year after being imprisoned for terrorism charges. In spite of the health condition of Father Stan Swamy, who also suffers from Parkinson's disease, the National Investigation Agency Special Court in the metropolis of Mumbai has rejected the bail plea of the campaigner for tribal rights. Christians and human rights organisations have expressed deep concern over the incarceration of the ailing priest, who was arrested in connection with the probe into riots that took place in 2018 and for his alleged connection with a left-wing insurgent group. Meanwhile, in Australia, the Catholic bishops have expressed ethical concerns over mitochondrial donation, which employs assisted reproductive technologies to have babies without mitochondrial disease by preventing the transmission of problematic mitochondria from mother to child, as the federal government considers its legalisation. In the submission made to the legislative body on behalf of the Episcopal Conference, Bishop Richard Umbers, Auxiliary Bishop of Sydney, raised concern over the processes involving cloning techniques and the destruction of embryos. The bishop also questioned its ethical aspect as the process would create babies with three parents, confusing the biological parentage of any children born. In a welcome move, the Diocese of Springfield in the US state of Illinois has come out with modified guidelines regarding the Sunday obligation. In a statement issued on March the 22nd, Bishop Thomas Paproki announced that the general dispensation of the obligation to attend Mass on Sundays and Holy Days would expire in April and a modified dispensation would come into effect. The statement says, quote, The Easter season is a very fitting time to renew our commitment to worship our Lord every weekend in commemoration of his resurrection and to pray for God's divine mercy to heal the sick and bring an end to this pandemic. The general dispensation was enacted last March due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Finally, Pope Francis spoke with French President Emmanuel Macron over the phone on March the 21st. The President's office said the two heads of state spoke about the Pontiff's recent apostolic visit to Iraq, which was hailed by Macron as a true turning point for the Middle East. They also shared thoughts and concerns on various global crises, including the post-Covid era's challenges and the expansion of jihadism in Africa. The spiralling political crisis in Lebanon also featured in the talks. The Holy Father had expressed interest to talk to Macron after the President sent him a message on the 8th anniversary of his accession to the throne of St Peter. And those are your latest headlines. Do join us again tomorrow. In the meantime, you can visit swnews.org for more updates. Shalom.